Hey kiddos, it is day five for the treasure tree. We're almost there. Are you guys ready? All right, here we go. This one's about Chewy the beaver. Chewy and the out of place hares. The four best friends were on their way to find the key number four and they marched together through the forest and sang a marching song. One you could sing too. We're the four best friends you see and we're headed for the treasure tree. Just one more little key and the treasure we will see. All right, write a song to go with that, okay guys? Well, they had just sung this song for the 25th time when they saw Aaron, the artistic elephant. Now Aaron was one of the best liked animals in the entire forest. Aaron, the artistic elephant, they all cried as they ran to where he was standing in a field of yellow flowers. So here they are marching along, singing their song, and there's their friend, Aaron. Elephants must be friendly animals, you know? Did you guys hear my story about Elmer? I love that elephant too. All right. Where are the four of you off to on such a fine day, asked Aaron. Wise Old Owl gave us a treasure map for our birthdays. Do you guys remember that from the very first part when the Wise Old Owl came in and he said he had one big box of one present and he gave him all the treasure maps. And we're off to find the treasure tree. Wonderful, said Aaron. I'd love to paint a picture of the treasure tree. Perhaps you can one day, said Lance. But for now, we're off to find one more golden key that will get us in to see it. That's right, said Chewy. Just listen to the last clue on our map. Are you ready? If to the treasure tree you want to race, you'll have to see what's out of place. So there they are, and there's Aaron. Don't you love it that Aaron's an artist? He paints. Have you guys been painting? I'd love to see some of your paintings. What a strange riddle, said Aaron. Yes, but we know the answer. We'll know the answer soon, said the lion. Come on, we've got a treasure tree to find. Goodbye, Aaron, said Giggles. We're on our way. It was good to see you, Aaron, said Honey, the golden retriever. And by the way, I like your flower painting very much. Thank you. I've had a great deal of trouble with my painting, said Aaron. But Aaron, said Honey, your flowers look so beautiful. Oh, I haven't been having trouble painting the flower. I've been having trouble keeping my pictures from flying away. Flying away since Chewy, what do you mean? So there is, look at honey, look how she listens. Do you have somebody in your life who's a good listener? Mr. Chris is a good listener in my life. He's so much like honey. All right, let's see why he's having trouble. Are you ready? Well, said Aaron, I'm allergic to flowers. All right. Have you guys been out taking walks or out in the yard? Are there any flowers that make you sneeze? Yeah, that happens sometimes. And every time I finish a painting, I, 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 I chew with the elephant. And the big sneeze blew away his picture and all four friends as well. Where did they go? Said Aaron as he looked around, suddenly all alone. Well, they went, where they went was for an unexpected sneeze ride. Mm. And where they landed was at Confusion Junction. The best friends didn't know it yet, but Aaron's mighty sneeze had landed them right where they needed to be. Confusion Junction was the place where the main road split into four roads. All right, so there's Aaron. He sneezes because of the flowers and then off the four friends go. They flew away. Hang on to your little brothers or sisters if you're ever by an elephant and flowers. All right, and right where the four roads began stood four silly looking hares, better known as bunny rabbits. Each rabbit had on bright blue pants and orange suspenders, a green striped shirt, and a polka dot bow tie. But then all four bunnies began to sing, follow me, follow me, I'll take you to the treasure tree. This is great, said Honey. We've got four guides to help us find the last key. Let's go, said Lance the Lion. The four friends began to walk toward the rabbits. 
but each rabbit ran down a different road. Uh-oh. Shouting all the time, follow me, follow me, I'll take you to the treasure tree. So here they are, all matching, right? And there's four roads. We're gonna take them down. Which way should they go? Which rabbit should they follow? Stop, said the friends. Which one do we follow, said Giggles. They all look just alike and sound alike too, said Honey. How will we ever figure out which way to go? The best friends knew that only one rabbit could be right. But which one? They couldn't figure it out. You could though, if you were a beaver like Chewy. I know how to get to the bottom of this, said Chewy. Remember the clue the old wise owl gave us? If to the treasure tree you want to race, you'll have to see what's out of place. Hmm. There's Chewy, thinking about it all. He is very organized and very much a planner. And with that, he lined up all four bunnies in a row and began to look for what was out of place. They look the same to me, said Giggles. Same pants, same shirt, same floppy ears, and same silly smile. They look the same to me too, said Lance. Do you want me to roar and scare them into telling us which one is the right rabbit? No, 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 said, Ch said Chewy. It's clear which rabbit is the one we should follow, can't you see? And while it was clear to Chewy, it wasn't clear to the others. All right, I'm gonna give you a minute to look at this. Can you see which one is different? Look close and see if you can figure out which one is different. Check out all their clothes. Check out their ears, check out their toes, check out everything about them and see if you can figure out which one is different. Did you get it? All right, let me see. What's so different, said Lance impatiently. Their tails, said Chewy. Their tails, said the friends. That's right, he said. Three hairs have tails that are all the wrong color. They're out of place hairs. See, the real rabbit has a fluffy white cottontail. And Chewy was right. Time was running out on their beautiful adventure filled day. So the four friends ran after the hare with a cotton white tail until they came to the very tall fence. All right, I'm gonna go back a page and show you and see if you could spot the tails this time. Do you see how three of them have pink tails? Do bunnies have pink tails usually? Not usually, but one has a white tail. So that's the one they're gonna follow. The fence was like a very long wall with a giant sized gate and hanging on the gate was the last golden key. Yay, Chewy, cried all the others. And they danced and jumped around like it was the last day of school before Christmas vacation. It was the lion's quick thinking and determined personality that won the first key. It was the otter's joyful and hopeful ways that found the second and the golden retriever's caring heart and listening ear that led them to the third key. And there's Chewy getting the last key. You see the big gate? I love it when friends celebrate friends. It's such a good thing working together. But it took a beaver's careful attention to deal to De details <laughs> to figure out what was different about those rabbits. And that's why Chewy was the one to find the final key. But now how are the best friends going to use their four keys to reach the treasure tree? Keep your eyes focused on what is right. Be careful what you do. Always do what is right. That's from Proverbs. There's a the little bunny with his key. And we're gonna find how they get to the treasure tree tomorrow. I can't wait to read the end with you guys tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Love ya.